hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you guys are new i am shu thanks so much for tuning in today's video i am going to be sharing my pan 20 for this year 2020 so i don't want this video to be too long so let's just get straight into the 20 items so the first product that i want to talk about is by misha and this is their super aqua ultra waterfall eye treatment I really really love this product i've gone through one whole tube two years ago and i am working on my new one i think i am like more than halfway through so i don't think i have any problem finishing this up i believe i want to aim for july before summer starts but let's cross all our fingers and hope i really love the stuff um, i am at an age where I need eye creams before I go to sleep and even when I wake up and I feel like my eyes are a little bit puffy and I need that cool sensation this really really helps I'm not really good with skincare but I feel like this is doing something for me so I will highly recommend it if you guys haven't tried this out really really need to um, get this out of my skincare collection because I feel like I've had this for some time now. So next two products are by a brand called Laneige. I absolutely love these two. I love the smell of Laneige products. I am trying to finish up the eye sleeping mask. So first of all, this packaging is super adorable. You can see the gradient and you can see how much I've used it. I'm almost, almost reaching towards the end. Um, I love how it comes in this sort of doe foot sort of applicator. I apply this underneath my skin before I go to sleep, underneath my eyes I meant. Um, it creates this nice cooling sensation and I feel like, you know, when you immediately feel that cooling sensation, you feel like, oh, something is happening under my eyes. <laughs> this stuff works amazing. I will definitely repurchase this again. I think it's around $30, I'm not sure, but this has lasted me for more than a year now. So um, I will recommend this, I love this stuff. So in conjunction with my eye sleeping mask, I also use the um, face sleeping serum. It's called the Water Bank Essence. I don't know what it exactly uh, mean, but this is suitable for supposedly all skin types. And what I love about this is first of all, the scent is amazing and I love how lightweight it feels on my skin. I normally don't like to have like heavy, thick layer of lotion um, applied all over my, my skin before I go to sleep because then it, you know, gets my pillows and stuff dirty. So I like anything that's lightweight. Yeah, the scent is just lovely. I will highly recommend it. I think that I am towards like more than halfway through. So I should be done with this by before summer. Hopefully, I don't know. But um, I love this stuff. I will repurchase this. So speaking of Laneige, I'm also trying to finish up one of their lip sleeping masks. So I believe this is in their very mix scent um i also have their vanilla one which i absolutely love but i am trying to use this up i have like i believe halfway done um it still smells really really good and this is a one of the lip masks that actually works for my dry chappy lips and i have uh, the tendency to pull my lips a lot so I try not to do that. I, I'm trying really, really hard, but I feel like this mask really does help um, hydrate my lips. So um, I will definitely be repurchasing this over and over again. I know it's kind of expensive, but I've tried so many lip um, balms and lip masks, and this is the only one that's been saving my lips. And I have halfway done, so I think I should be finished with this by definitely by this year, end of this year. Let's hope. So I have Marc Jacobs Perfecting Coconut Set and Mist. Um, I use this stuff to dampen my beauty blender. I don't know if you guys use your setting sprays to dampen your 
beauty blenders but I feel like it definitely helps apply my foundation much better much smoother I just love the um, hydrating factor when it comes to using a setting spray like this um, instead of just water actually now that it's winter it's been helping my dry like cakey face so I love this stuff to um, jump in my beauty blender and I hope I can finish this by the end of this year so there's two foundations that I'm trying to finish and I think that I am more than halfway through um, for both of these foundations I have the Fenty Beauty and the Estee Lauder double wear foundations now this shade is too dark for me and this shade is way too light for me so when I mix these two together it creates a nice perfect shade for me love the formula of both of these um, foundations I have another one of the Fenty Beauty foundations in full size but I don't have this in full size um, I will like to purchase this somewhere in the future but I have like 10 other foundations to go through so I'm not going to even try to buy another one but um, I think I should be done with these foundations before um, summer starts so let's just hope that I can finish this too before that so I have more setting sprays to finish these are mini sizes so I don't think they should be a problem this is by Smashbox and this is MAC Fix Plus everyone loves this stuff I think I can go through it pretty quickly um, if I focus and finishing up the two. Um, I always keep my empty MAC products in a bag so that I can um, exchange it for like a free lipstick or free eyeshadow or whatever lip gloss. So um, I need to use up most of my MAC products for sure. And I love these setting sprays. I don't really care for Smashbox as much I just want to finish this up but Fix Plus I have like three more bottles of this and I absolutely love it I feel like I can definitely tell that um, it helps minimize the cakiness of your makeup application um, love this it's like a staple in my make makeup collection I know that I can finish this before summer so next I have these uh, droplet type stuff so this one is the MAC Studio Water Weight Concealer in NC30 I feel like this color it definitely matches my skin tone I like to hide my dark spots with this especially around my forehead when I have breakouts this um, shade definitely helps a little bit of it goes a long way so I don't know if I can finish this um, for this year but I'm gonna attempt to try it I think this concealer works nice on my skin but I don't think I'll ever repurchase this I like other MAC concealers better than a little bit better than this one so cover FX custom enhancer sunkissed drops um, I was gonna save this for some time because I thought that it was gonna make me look you know too glowy and too unnatural for the winter time right now but I feel like it helps my dry ashy skin to look a little bit more luminous so I've been playing with that actually I have it on today and I feel like it makes my skin look a little bit more glowy and healthy but in more of a natural way so um, I'm gonna be using up this product um, I've had this for some times now and I, I seriously need to work on using up my products. I'm able to use up half of it um, for this year. So let's see what happens. So this is the Cover FX Custom Blood Drops. Um, it's supposed to help control your oil, but I don't feel like it does anything for me except that it helps hydrate my face. I still get oily um, whenever I use this product so I don't think it works well for me I have two bottles of this for some reason I'm trying to finish this up I am like about halfway through and I know I can use this up pretty quickly so um, I would never repurchase this skin but I just want to 
pen this baby right here. So the next product I have here is the MAC Matte um, Primer. I think that's what it's called. It's a trans... So this is a translucent primer that's supposed to work for under your skin and also over your makeup. One of the MAC um, makeup artists has told me it has a very silicone-y texture. Um, I do like this stuff. I've repurchased this a couple of times and um, I will always probably be repurchasing this. I think that it does help mattify my skin and it kind of blurs my pores. So I love this product and I need to use this up before it goes bad. So um, the two before I had this think it went bad like after a few years so while it's still fresh I want to make sure I get a good use out of this so I have a lot of MAC products I know this is a the so this is the next MAC product this is a MAC prep and prime and light highlighter booster so it's just a yellow um, highlighter so it has a nice yellow undertone that helps pretty much highlight the underneath my um, eyes and I love this stuff. I've purchased um, one, two before this and a little bit of it goes a long way and I'm trying to finish this up because I have YSL Touche Club also to finish. So um, I love this stuff. I will repurchase this again. I hope I can get through this before the end of this year but I don't know I have so many concealer in my makeup collection and I want to focus on finishing this product so for bronzers I'm trying to finish up two bronzers and I've had this forever right now Hoola by Benefit and Too Faced um, medium deep chocolate soleil bronzer this smells amazing it smells so so good but I've already hit pan on this one and I am proud of myself for that. And I've also hit pan on the Benefit Tula. So hopefully I can finish one of this before the summer starts and finish up the other one before winter begins. I have high hopes for finishing up these two bronzers. So I've never finished any of my blushes. I don't think I'm a huge blush lover i only have like five blushes now in my make makeup collection and uh, besides like the face palettes which has a lot of blushes in them but i only have five like individual blushes and i'm trying to finish the um, limited edition mac blush this is in the shade called nuance it's a limited um, edition don't know which collection it was released from but I've had this forever. It's a nice corally color I have on my cheeks today. Um, it has a nice sheen on it, so it's not like a matte bron uh, bronzer. It's not like a matte blush or anything like that, but I just love this shade. I think that it suits my skin tone. Um, I hope I can finish this um, this year. I don't know. I don't. I tend to forget wearing blushes on my daily makeup routine so I'm going to attempt to keep it in the box and use this product up. So I think I tend to finish up loose powders quickly. Um, so I have the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder here and I've, I've been trying to use this up for some time. So I like this packaging a lot. I know it gets like a little bit messy but this has like a nice sifter inside and you can just close it like this and shake it up and open the lid and just dip your brush in and I just love this packaging. I love the formula of this as well. I feel like it does help set my face really nicely. It helps brighten my under eyes and the necessary areas of course and um, I don't know if it helps with held with the oil controlling for throughout the day but I like it so far um, I know that Tarte is also cruelty free I guess so um, I don't mind supporting their <laughs> makeup brand but um, correct me if that if I'm wrong by the way 
but I do love this powder. I think I have like maybe half of this left now and um, I know I can finish this before the summer begins. So I'm almost done with my Velvet Teddy lipstick. This is my second tube. I only have this much left. And this lipstick is always in my makeup bags and like, you know, any bag that I grab to go out, I always have this lipstick in my bag. So I've been making good use out of this. I love this shade. I don't have it on today actually. But this is my um, lip color, but better if that makes sense. Everyone have um, one lipstick that they tend to gravitate towards because it enhances your um, lip color and it complements your skin tone, etc. So this is like my holy grail. I have another tube of this actually, a full size, and I'm trying to finish this up. I believe I will be done with this. I want to say before the summer starts, but um, I'll do a check-in in July for all of my products. But I love this lipstick. Lose all of my other lipsticks and have only one lipstick to keep. It will be this one. So, and then it comes down to the last item, and this is the Nine Pan Z palette. I purchased this a while ago, and I've never hit pan on any of these eyeshadows, which is ridiculous. I've had this palette for ever ago, and I need to hit pan on at least one or two eyeshadow shades in here and I tend to neglect neglect yeah that's a word <laughs> neglect put it on eyeshadow whenever I go out so I need to change a habit in that because I have so many eyeshadow palettes in my collection and it's just you know kind of sad that I don't make use of them so I'm gonna try hard to use up this palette by the end of this year or attempt to pan some of these eyeshadows um, no guarantees on how successful I will be but I'm gonna try to attempt it and yeah so that's basically it so that's it for all of the 20 items that I am planning to pan for this year um, I'm gonna keep all of this in this box so that I can update the status with you guys probably six months from now and see how I progress from there. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I can find success in penning these items and finishing up these products. Um, so I'll do a midway check-in and the end result at the end of probably December. But uh, that's a long way from now. So I think I can do this, you know, I believe in myself. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.